Mr. President, I have yet to meet a person in Minnesota that is hungry. This is Minnesota State Senator Steve Drozkowski arguing against a bill that would provide all students in Minnesota public schools with free lunches because he's never met a hungry person. Yet today, I have yet to meet a person in Minnesota that says they don't have access to enough food to eat. Now, I should say that hunger is a relative term, Mr. President. You know, I had a cereal bar for breakfast. I guess I'm hungry now. Uh, that, to some, might be the, maybe that's the definition of the bill. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see a definition of hunger in the bill, Mr. President. Um, but I think most reasonable people suggest hunger means you don't have enough to eat in order to, to uh, provide for metabolism and growth. I'm Ravana, and welcome back to Rebel HQ. To be fair to Steve, he's right. The word hunger is not defined in the bill. But that's probably because the word hunger is never used in the bill. And despite Steve's compelling argument that hunger doesn't exist because he's never met a hungry person, the bill still passed the Minnesota State Senate and is now being sent to the Minnesota governor to be signed into law. If the Minnesota governor signs the bill into law, which he is expected to do, it would provide all students in Minnesota's public education system one free breakfast and one free lunch a day. And for those wondering what the price tag on this program is... $420 million, which represents less than 1% of the state's budget for education. Apparently, though, Senator Steve is not the only person who opposes children being given free meals at school. Take a look at this video. If government can protect kids from the sick radical left, shouldn't they also protect kids from hunger? Wouldn't it make sense to strengthen food stamps and have school lunch be free since some kids are in school lunch debt? Uh, well, I mean, if you are a parent, school lunches are not going to solve the problem of child hunger at any serious level. If, if there is a problem of children actually starving, that is a child endangerment scenario to which CPS needs to be called. Uh, if you're talking about like, actual child starvation, the truth is it does not take that much money to feed a child. I know I have three of them. Uh, the, you should be feeding your child before you feed yourself. It's that simple. There's a much deeper problem at work than school lunches if kids are legitimately starving. I'm trying to decide which is a better take. Steve's, there's no such thing as hunger because I've never met a hungry person, or Ben's, the solution to hunger is not to give kids food. And Ben, it may not cost you that much money to feed your children, but that's probably because you're a multimillionaire. And what you consider a lot of money is vastly different than what a poor person considers a lot of money. And regardless of what Steve or Ben would have you believe, 9 million children in the United States experience food insecurity every year. For many of those children, school lunch is the only nutritious meal they're eating a day. And Ben Shapiro, who loves to promote the idea of a small government and its benefits, thinks the solution to hungry children is to send in police to forcibly remove them from their families. 